Hello everybody, lovely day today. That's the sunshine. Uh, right, this is one for Teely Weege, who asked me the question on a Sunday Q&A, do you put on your profile for loading time? Um, or how much do you put on your profile for loading time? I have covered this before, but I realise it's not a dedicated video, so I thought I'll just do one, just like, you know, a place everyone can go, on uh, loading times and waiting times, as I see them. And as you all know, this is just my opinion, and it's not set in stone or anything like that. But on the whole, yes, you want to put on on your profile like your, what your loading times are, what your waiting times are, what the dimensions of your van are. Put on as much as you, much information as you possibly can. That way they can see it, and that way if anything goes wrong, you can go when well, it's on my profile. Um, basically, loading time and waiting time in vans. We we'll start with the loading time. Um, Vans, anything up from small van all the way up to Luton, you've got to give them the first 20, 20 minutes to half an hour free. Because you've got to expect a certain amount of time where, you know, goods don't just magically appear on your van. It's not the Harry Potter mobile, is it? They don't just go bing in the back. And if you're dead lucky, it'll be one paddock, you put on site, I'll go zzz, zzz, and you could be in, in five, you can be away in five minutes. If it's a small van, you'll go in, I've got to pick up a box. So there, mate. Thanks very much, and you're off. Sometimes it don't work out that way. Sometimes they can't find it. Sometimes they need paperwork. Sometimes it's got to get released. But base it on the fact that you're looking about 20 minutes to half an hour free. Say 20 minutes, if within the first 15, 10, 15 minutes, it looks like it's going to be a problem, ring the ship straight away. In the first five minutes, it looks like it's going to be a problem. Say, look, I'm here, I'm on site, they can't find it. I reckon they will find it and we're going to get away on time. I'm just giving the heads up just in case it doesn't work out. Um, then what you're looking at, it's not tons. You're looking at basically anything from 10 to about 25, 30 pounds, 30 pounds pushing it an hour. So say you get the first 20 minutes free, say you're on site for an hour and a half, you're going to plug them for an hour. So if in a small van, you, could be, you, you really want 15 pounds. Um, medium wheelbase, 20. Long wheelbase, 25. No, it's not right. I've gone off on one there. Uh, small van's about 15 quid. Maybe long wheelbase, extra long wheelbase, 20. Um, Luton, 25. That's about right. You don't always get it. Sometimes they go, oh, we can only pay this. Or, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, that's the size of things. On lorries, you get the first hour free because they take a lot longer to load. It's, it's, it's harder to load 12 pallets than it is to load four, theoretically. In fact, you might hear them, they're banging away in the back right now. Um, you get the first hour free, and then the second hour is, we, we on the on the seven and a half tons, we put it at 40 pound an hour. On the big trucks, the 18 tons, 50 pound an hour. Well, you don't really want it, because you could be on site for two hours. You plug them for an hour, you get an extra 50 quid on the job, it's 25 pound an hour, and you, dramatically reduce the chance of fitting another job in because now you're going to be two hours later to get it right you know so um but that's it um that's loading time and waiting time loading time about the same handball about the same if you've got a handball in a Luton van you give them 20 minutes free 25 pound an hour in a small van 20 minutes free 15 pound an hour that's about the way it works really like so you want to Make sure you contact the ship first. Let them know in good time that they're going to do it. Try and agree it ahead of time. Um, that way there's, there's less arguments to the end because it's horrible having to ask. Also, don't close the job down until they've added it on. Because if you close the job down, once you've pressed that delivered POD and it goes to create invoice, they can't change it up their end. Which means you then have to manually change it up your end, which means that there might be a discrepancy between what the accounts department think they've got to pay and what they, you know, what the, what the job has said it's got to pay, and then you're in all sorts of beef and bubble there. So, um, but yeah, that's basically on loading times and waiting times. Anything from about 10, 10's a bit cheap, up to 25. 25 in the loot, and I'd say between 15 and 25 from small van ranging up to um, Luton with a tail lift and all that kind of stuff um, and the same for handball um, it, it, every chip it depends and the other argument is also get it on your like the guy says put it on your CX say this is what I charge because they will put on their CX we pay and beware also some jobs when you're looking at it you know it might be an airport job you know if it says request company idea it might be an airport job the job might say we require an hour's worth of waiting time free because they know you're going to be hanging around if that is the case factor it into the price so I go, they want an hour free, so I would normally do that job for £50 in a small van, but I know I'm going to be on site for at least an hour and a half, I'm going to charge them 65 70 Because otherwise you're just going to be wasting your day. 
that's hopefully that clears up some of it probably not all of it like i say always welcome your comments we'll pass it on sunday in the meantime i am going to go now because that, that pretty much covers it all in one video i think and uh, hopefully these planets will be on soon and then i'm off to watford and then i'm back again which is kind of cool backwards and forwards do like a nice return job it's a good way to take care take money